You can start and access Google Meet simply by going up to the Google Apps waffle and scrolling down until you see Meet. When you click the app, you can then start or join a meeting there. If you are starting it, you can give it a name, click Continue. If you have not used your camera before, you may have to allow your camera or you can turn the camera off if you don't want to use it. Um, you can start your meet by clicking join now, and then you can either uh, copy the join info uh, or share out the link via email, calendar, um, Google Classroom, whatever you're using, or you can add individual people by clicking add people. Uh, people can also dial in to your Google Meet simply by calling the number and entering in the pin. Um, they wouldn't have the video conferencing capability, um, but they could if they used uh, the Google Meet or Google Hangouts app. Um, once you have people in your Meet, um, there is a chat feature here where you can share links and have sidebar conversations here in the chat. At any time, you can um, add more people if you want to. Uh, you also have the option now of recording it. If you go to the three dots, you can record your meeting. This can be great if you are delivering instruction for your students. It will then automatically save. It will record and save whatever uh, takes place in your meeting. And then when you are done recording, it will then automatically save it in your Google Drive, which makes it very easy to then share through um, Google Drive, Google Classroom, email. Um, if you want to present what is on your screen, um, you can also do that at any time. Click Present Now. You can pick a particular window or your entire screen and go ahead and share. It will then show your screen to the other people in the meeting. When you're done, you can click Stop Presenting and go back. Again, you can toggle your camera at any time simply by clicking the button. Um, you can also mute yourself if someone else is talking and you have background noise. It is a good idea to go ahead and click the mute. Um, and then when you're ready to add something, you can just unmute yourself, talk at that time, and then remute yourself. Um, you can try using turning on the captions, uh, which will do its best um, to pick up what you're saying and provide some uh, captions on there, which can help with accessibility if you are doing this for your students. Um, and whenever you're done, you can stop recording. And again, it will automatically save it to your Google Drive, as noted down here on the left. And then when you're done with your call, you can just hang up by clicking leave call. And that's all you have to do to create and use Google Meet.